And then Eclipse is here. He's probably listening at work. What's up? Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Yeah, How about you? Yeah, I'm just working here listening to you guys. Very interesting. Yeah, you know, uh, just real quick, because uh, I, I haven't talked to you in a while. Uh, I gotta keep up. I have. I've been wanting to hook up with Minds Gaming, but I keep on forgetting. Or like, we've been having technical issues in a sense. Like, I was like, oh, I'm ready, and then he doesn't look at his messages. And he's like, oh shit, are you still ready? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I like. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's everything going with Joystream? Uh, it's good. It's good. I mean, like, Minds Gaming had that, that run at the council. Uh, it got close. So, we'll see what happens next time around. Oh, cool. I'm trying to get it. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, the, the Joystream DAO. I've been, like, just, like, on the sidelines, like, reading and trying to catch up. But today, I'll have time to, like, set up Imaginarium on Joystream and then see about you know, doing some of those bounties and seeing what's up. Because, you know, Imaginarium has a whole vault of stuff that we could put on there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, learning, man, because, uh, I mean, it's, uh, nothing is, like, very obvious once you get there. Like, there is a bit of digging to do uh, in the forum side of things, how to set up the bounties, the call and stuff. So uh, trying to learn. I uh, got like a tiny job there on the HR group, working group. Oh, cool. Uh, just to kind of get my foot in the door, be directed to the right information, I guess, so I don't waste time. Yeah, that's big. I'm trying to learn a lot there, trying to learn. But um, still reading the Omega chat. I read, I read. <laughs> I don't, I don't. It's too complicated for me, I think. But, I don't know. but you know. But what what I'm trying to do, and it'll take some time. But I think real quick, you know, it's it's what I refer to as the the NFT Redux like puzzle game. It's like all of those like helpful tips, but like organized in a meaningful way, and like hopefully like you interacting with it is like you determine what's what's actually curious to you. Like if you're more inclined to creativity, then you're then hopefully on the third try that we, we give you these options of like what you could explore, they're like what I called weird, right? They're like the poetry, they're the, the concepts, they're the abstract art, they're, they're the weird videos. Like if that like intrigues you more, then I, I my, what I'm like theorizing in a sense is like that, that curiosity is the one that ultimately makes your, your decisions for you. Like that's how, and that like to like, get people to recognize that and then even use the cards is just a way to like be you be more mindful of it. and then you know you develop your own cards of like how you do it and then you pass that on to everybody and that's part of like this cultural equity and like over time i think that like knowledge pool that wisdom pool that art pool is actually the stuff that we're really going after and the, what we're really trying to capture and like yeah, that's just my thoughts on that. That's awesome. awesome. Let's say every individual and uh, from individual to, you know, goes like all that. And they make like that circles that uh, mm -hmm. between yeah. them there are like art genres, like even contained. I'd like to use this word within a person, like multiple. It's a multi-state condition, for real. Like, uh, I'm thinking of, hey, an artist, let's say, edit a song. They're included in a library. And then, of course, that's like a NFT place. But the thing is, hey, your song contains some rock, some punk, some jazz, classical, maybe some rock symphony. And you decide it's ratios, proportions, you know, how much it contains from which base genre and uh, with community as well. That's the thing I want to really uh, experience. Hey, like an artist thinking it's totally like uh, punk rock, but you know, without that saying, maybe can ask people to make something together on that. But yeah, seeing uh, artworks as collection of or portfolio of each being yeah. a 
multi token as a kind of like a collection fusion of them. Yeah, I, I I'm definitely resonating with with those thoughts because that's like you know arbitrarily I I came up with this game and there's like roles to play. And there's five different roles and you know they're kind of like archetypes. So the the one novel one I put shaman, artist, systems thinker, coder slash builder, and then like student slash、uh, beginner's mind. And those are like all the stages of kind of like your own complexity. You know, it's just a way to like contain them and, and to to start to analyze them in a sense. And、um, so well, that that same like principle is. In another group, I was talking about kind of using that, and I said, "Oh, Satori D is B shaman. No, is punk B shaman? I forgot what exactly I said, but I made all these like little categories of like what I consider myself in a sense, and like I put punk in there because like I grew up like list going to to、uh, backyard gigs, and like I made like." I got so like crazy into punk that like I didn't. I thought everybody was posers if they didn't like make their own like clothes, <laughs> or they didn't get that shirt from like a gig, and like I didn't like anybody who bought like shirts from like you know like the mall or whatever. <laughs> like 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 that 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 ethos of like do it yourself type of thing, and that's like I think crossed over into like remix culture. And like that's why I'm like so much about like remix culture, which I kind of want to like bring out in in that sense, in this like narrative mandala sense. Because later you find out that like everything's like a blend of all these like、uh, categories. And like yeah, it's good to, to to do those categories, but you see where like all of the like what I'm calling meaningful novelty, where like all of the like progression happens when it's clashing of those two. You know, like. There's like you know some some punk ethos like cyberpunk meets like you know whatever like you know like, like the past couple like trendy ones are like, like、uh, country and like rap, but like you know even when I was younger it was like、uh, hip hop and and metal,、uh, yeah like corn and all that kind of stuff and you know that was good but、uh, like it it, it it always happens too in my contention is like on the lower levels like、um, like. People to people, like sharing, and then just clashing. Like you know, in culinary school, you learn like modern cooking. What's considered modern cooking, and what comes to fine dining, is actually the clashing of what the Japanese were doing and what the French were doing. And the French had the brigade system, so they ma- they mainly made it more institutionalized, where the the Japanese had more of the artistry. And when they met. They like combine their ideas, and then that's what's considered modern cooking.、Uh, it's basically the system of the brigade system that the French come up with, but with the plating and artistry、uh, of the Japanese. And like, and when you find out like developments of like culture and and ideas, it's always that. It's always this clashing of of, of like those two complementary pieces, and or I, I even now I think it's it's a collective of like. Multiple things happen at, at different levels, so it's not only like the genre of music that's clashing, but like the genre of like video editing mixed with like the genre of narrative, and like that's something I've been playing around with like on Imaginarium for like a long time. But like now I'm just like beginning to like try to explain it or trying to like define it, not define it, but like give like useful things of like how I guess I'm being challenged to think about it. But also, too, at the same time, is like open source philosophy is like what I've been preaching, but I haven't been doing in a sense is like sharing all of that. But I was like, think, that's why I come up with the the little puzzle game. Is like, how do I do it in a in a way that I I feel like is,、uh, for lack of a better word, ethical or goes to my own like personal like which, for lack of a better word, I call team human philosophy, meaning, you know. There's a problem with mechanizing everything, and I think that's a problem that we have right now. Is where we think what's more important is how you market something, and, and versus while you, the creation of of that artwork or that development of something comes out of like these personal passions, and then later you could define the the categories that made it like go viral or whatever. And and I also have a contention that anything that goes viral is is in a lot of sense. Manufactured. I mean, there's like these networks of, especially now, bots that like 
boost something to make it go viral and then which is a self-fulfilling prophecy but then does it sustain itself is like the major question right when we're talking about ecosystems and to my contention is this is why we have all these pump and dumps this is why we have all these um volatility in in, in the market is because it's not necessary being um, cyclical and being juiced and then how do we get out of this I, you know i only see it from the lowest perspective of my community but i mean when i read some of the stuff that uh, soul sister was having and talking about it, i'm like oh i know what that that vodka equation really means <laughs> as uh, you know i that's when i started to think about it in, from putting my piece of the puzzle to everybody i'm like trying to figure out like what's the best way that i could do it and i think that's part of the research project like the full meaning of it it's like i believe all of us have our own piece of the puzzle and that we've all been working on our own um the best way i've been framing it is like every great project starts with a personal itch and like this is an open source philosophy right like there's something that you you just do because like you like it and then the more you do it is the more you figure out how to make it better for yourself and then like later you could give tips to to other people this is the insightful wisdom that like when you have a buddy you know i don't need to know everything about uh eclipse and binaries uh, music process and even you know but i i i have um confidence and respect for him to to toss him some of my good ideas and then you know confidence that he could do what he does with it and that it's going to be great greater for the whole so then when i get that music then then i could go to town on the visuals and then it it, it works um great that way and like that's a simple principle but that's also like the basics and that's like part of like reinforcing that on the cultural build of you know hopefully what we get with this uh, nft mandala which is actually kind of perfect because steph i've been talking to my friend like it's like we're gonna load these cards into like those oracle things um you said yet you yours is based off of the tibetan what um do you, do you know? uh, the one i'm doing for my job is yeah. based on the mo it's like the tibetan I Ching. it's coming out of this kind of uh, mahayana school i think of buddhism okay cool um, but yeah, it's just an oracle that I was working with in work for kind of like working between workers, like how to create a different moment in the work time. But yeah, it would be nice to reconnect this. And uh, I'm also talking with my colleague at work actually with this kind of conference thing, and she also sent some work. But this technology that I now kind of where you also contributed with, like in the next iteration, they will also make it for desktops. And uh, I am checking with them, like now they're a bit busy with the conference, but I'm checking immediately with them, like it would be nice that you don't need to go through Let's Go, but that you can immediately kind of onboard yourself, so that you don't need like me to be like in, in the middle. Yeah. So yeah, like that's kind of what I'm asking them, but now they're really busy these days, but I think, uh, yeah, like it's good to kind of already be part of it and keep track of it, like once yeah. it gets better, because it's new technology as well. For sure, and that's my my friend. His his basically the rotating uh, mind map is based off of the I chain. I forgot which what exactly sequence he's doing, but you know. So I was like, oh man, that's like perfect. That's why I instantly got like what he was trying to do because I was like, oh, that's that's great. And because I've I've used the there's um like a, a web version of the I chain, and basically for anybody that doesn't know what the I chain is. Is basically they set up these basic principles and it's, it's based off of like the the calendar system way back when with a Taoist calendar system. But you, you you have the structure and you you put in a little bit of novelty with some wisdom and basic like chaos theory. The meaning happens within you making those connections in that moment. So and that's basically what I what I uh, you know the, the principles behind collecting all of these insights of us working, you know, in the Web3 world and then organizing them in a way that they could be meaningful when we interact with with the Oracle, in a sense. The Oracle is is for your own self-discovery, but, but based in the context of navigating the Web3 world. <laughs>